All right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Grand Lotus Gaming. We are playing our Pokemon Heart Gold Random Runners from Nuzlocke. I'm Grand Lotus Dylan. Last episode, we made it through Diglett Cave. Diglett Tunnel, I don't remember. I think it's Diglett Cave. Into Pewter City, where the gym leader, Brock, resides. Also, there's something else here that we can get. Oh, there's a couple things we can get. One of them is going to be the place to resurrect our fossils. So we have a dome fossil. We have a cl two claw fossils. I thought we had three different kinds. No, we just have three. So we have a claw fossil and a dome fossil. Play right, dome. And a dome. So we're going to resurrect those guys. I think we're going to do that before we fight Brock. Because Brock's going to be a piece of cake, honestly. I mean, I hope. I know in the original version, he has a Kabutops and an Amistar. And he's pretty intense. But I think we'll be okay. So we're going to go up north here. And try to resurrect our stone. In the old games, you have, to, you have to go around and come back here. But this one looks like you can just go straight to him. Heck yeah. Did you know that you can extract Pokemon from fossils? If you ever need to, let me take care of it for you. Ooh. -hoo. Let's do the claw first. Do you want to extract a Pokemon from the claw fossil? Hell yeah. I'll extract it for you. Come back after a while. Okay, I don't remember how many steps it is, but we'll come back after a while. You got anything good to say, buddy? What's up? They say that meteorite struck somewhere near Pewter City. We would love to display them here in a museum, but these meteorites are said to emit strange energy and cannot be carried away. Wow. Like they're stuck to the earth by magnetism. Anyways, let's do this. Are y'all ready? All right. So we have Blaze can out front right now. We are going, oh, look at Kyle. He's a cool little Kyle. Um, and Brad for cut. We don't need cut. Let's put Brad away. I forgot we have freaking Brad in our party. Damn it, Suicune. Oh, God. That was... What a disappointment, right? Get in there. We don't need you. And we caught a Charmander. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. So, I, I don't want Blaziken to die or anything, but if Blaziken does die, we are pulling out Diggy so fast. Munchlax. So cute. Um, who's the other guy on our team? I don't see... It's Manitra, right? I'm so confused. Oh, Sand Slash. Duh. Oh my gosh. Just look at my layout. It's right there, Dylan. <laughs> oh gosh. Sorry. It's early in the morning. I'm okay. It's only level 44. Jeez. Jeez. Maybe we should just keep freaking Weeping Bell on, right? No, because we need a Leaf Stone and TMs only after that. Nah, we'll be fine. Fine with Sand Slash. Because we really need Earthquake anyways. What am I doing? Let's go up here. And we didn't get our encounter, I don't think. We can do that today, too. Because it should be a quick episode fighting Brock. Um, okay, so... <sighs> I hate that we have two underleveled Pokemon. You know, we're going to be safe. We're going to put Perry out front. Because Perry can literally eat up anything besides a fighting type. So, I don't think we're going to get that unlucky. We should be fine. Let's do this. Here we go. Pewter City Gym. Oh, crap. I forgot to talk to my guy. The trainers of this gym use Rock-type Pokemon. Rock-type Pokemon of high defense. Battles could end up going on a long time. Are you ready for this? A 
again, ma. Delicious. There you go, Perry. Come on, Perry. Uh, wreck him, wreck him, wreck him. Wreck him down, wreck him down. Boom, too easy. All right, way too easy. You ready for the next one? I was waiting for my frames to catch back up. They're still going really slow, but what? I don't know. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know. Chef Mia, a Jirachi. Okay, okay, that's cool, bro. That's fine. I ain't scared. Uh, Steel Psychic, Steel Psychic. That's fine. Unless you have Earthquake. Then. Or low kick or something. Freeze him. Freeze him, Perry. Freeze him, Perry. Alright, I don't think he has anything that can kill Blaziken. Ooh, a psychic, of course. Shit. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky with the para here. Come on. Give me the para, Perry. Para Perry, Para Perry, Para Perry. Yes, baby. Good job. We got him right here. Boom. Good freaking job, Perry. Man, I, I, every game I'm, I hope I get a, a form of Porygon. This guy is amazing. He's amazing. Um. Do I need to heal? Oh, I did take some damage. So we're going to go heal just to cover our ass because I do not want to lose any more guys. And I don't, no point in using a potion for 30 HP. And I could run here. All right. Let's do this, Grand Lotus community. Taking on Brock, Pewter City Gym Leader. And we are going to whip his ass. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need my motivation real quick. Yo, legend in the making. You look really rocking. Are you battling the gym leaders of Kanto? They're strong and dedicated people, just like Johto's gym leaders. Hell yeah, battling them. You've seen me in like five other places, dude. But, all right. All right, yeah, we sing with Perry? Let's sing with Perry. Bum, bum, bum. Wow, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the pure gym leader. I'm an expert on rock type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on! Yeah, I did that. Director Robin. All right, wasn't prepared for a Dusclops. Should be okay. Should be just fine. That did not do as much as I like, and that's gonna, that's not gonna feel good either. Quick Claw Perry, hell yeah, bro. Even though I'm pretty sure you already got sped him, but that's fine. Don't want no, don't want no crits or something stupid happening, right? Because that seems to be the downfall of a lot of our guys is random critical hits. Oh, he has pressure. I read that, didn't I? Dang, that pressure really screwed us on our side beam. <laughs> Red Rock. Kyle, we need you, man. We freaking need you, man. Uh, Perry can do this. I think. Uh. Yeah, baby. Uh. 
Okay, that might hurt a little bit. Oh, no way. Perry, you are just... You're a baller, bro. Boom, Regirock, down. Down and out, son. Yes, Kyle, keep on growing more powerful. Pillow swine. Let's go, chica. All right, um, Ember Blaze Kick. Let's go Ember. I think it's special. It's a little weaker than it's physical. Guys, I fucking jinxed myself. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Um I jinxed us. I said I'd not say I want you to die, but if you do. We'll get to use Charmander. And look what the fuck just happened. Damn it. Damn it. I don't... We don't have the time to train Charmander. I don't have the time to train Char... Damn it, man. There's freaking... Shit. Shit. It itches, it itches. What, what? Dude, oh my god. Why? I mean, I understand Earthquake's so strong, but you couldn't, you couldn't survive one hit. Chica, come on, man. Oh god, that's screwing us so bad. That sucks. This sucks. What? See, if we had Chica right now, this thing would be freaking dead. Oh God, I'm poisoned. Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock hard resistance. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. We're all right, we got the Boulder badge. I really enjoyed the battle with you, Dylan. I'll give you the move Rock Slide, too, to flinch your foe. I got TM80. The world is huge. There are still many strong trainers like you. Just wait and see. I'm going to become a lot stronger, too. Good for you, man. Traveling with Ash, you ain't. But whatever. Alright, we are poisoned, so I have to go straight to the Pokemon Center. And not mess this up. Alright, we survived. Um, Blazington did not. Frick! Shit! Man, <laughs> I'm so upset. God dang it. I thought I could take the item from him. Let's take his item. Man, I'm sorry, guys. I should... I mean, Blazing was the best choice to send out there. To kill it. But not to survive a hit of Earthquake. Which I did really didn't think about. Because I thought he was going to die in one hit. Um, yeah, I, I messed up. 
And I, I probably could have went for the blaze kick and it might have killed it too. I just feel like Pillow Swine's special is stronger than its regular, so. Death Box, another one. Oh my gosh, what a powerful Death Box. It's crazy how our Death Box is full of like the most powerful Pokemon. <laughs> we just keep losing them. But we get to bring out a level 19 Charmander. With Dragon Rage, okay. I mean, it's too late in the game for that to be a good move, but that's fine. I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to do some training. I'm gonna have to go train Kyogre and Dicky up before next episode, because next episode we have some very important stuff. We're gonna go find Lugia. Um, okay, what route is this? Route 2. So we do not have a Route 2 encounter, so we can go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. Okay. Route 2. Cranidos. Um, I don't want it. Sorry, I just feel like it's a big waste of time on a Pokemon I would not use. Uh, they'll really sting when you take a bath. Uh, do we battle you? Orion, Lou, that would have been way cooler. That's fine. I'm not mad. All right, okay, so another thing we have, we're going to have to actually know, we'll do that next episode. Let's see. How are fossils coming along? Hi there. I've extracted a Pokemon from a fossil. A Steelix? Okay. 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 I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy with Steelix. Hell yes. Uh, Steelix will be great. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to train. We're gonna have to train everything so much. Oh, oh. do y'all like Steelix? Should we replace Sand Slash with Steelix? I feel like that's a good move, right? What? We got a Steelix? Okay, uh, what, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Steven. Steven. Okay, we got a Steelix. That's pretty badass. Let's look at him real quick. Summary. Somewhat of a clown. Okay, he's level 20. Okay, he has Screech, Rock Throw, Rage, and Rock Tomb. Okay, his defense is fantastic. Um, special attack sucks. Special defense sucks. Speed sucks. Attack kind of sucks. That's fine. He might get stronger. We might not even use him. We will see. But now, this man needs to take our other fossil. I have two of each. Oh, wow. All right. So after a while, I don't know what that means. We're going to go run back and forth for a second. Oh, we have to deposit Steelix. Uh, that's pretty cool with Steelix. Came from the dome. And I'm pretty sure the dome is the uh, is Almanite normally. So Steelix coming from that, pretty badass. I'm not mad at all. Very good Pokemon to get. From a fossil, especially. These are like just two free Pokemon we're getting. Alright, ran around, ran around. I think we ran around this much last time too. I think so. Hi there. I was trying. Yes. Oh wait, another Steelix. Uh. Okay. Wait, what? I don't, okay, I'm, I'm confused. 
Did we do the same fossil again? And I just didn't realize it. I guess, I guess we did. Okay, that's fine. Well, we have an extra Steelix. So if we use one and one dies, we can retrain another one. Not a bad deal, I guess. <laughs> if anybody has time for that, which we don't. La -da -da -da. Okay, let's see. That's, that was pretty quick, right? Hi there. A mill tank. Okay. Strong, strong. Okay, that was, that was eventful. We had a very eventful episode, everybody. Um, besides the fact that we did lose our very strong fire type. That's going to be a real kick in the freaking nuts later on. It is what it is. We'll make it through it. We'll be fine. I'm disappointed in myself. Uh, I, I mean, there's not much I can do with the... One hit earthquake like that, but I feel I feel I could have took better precautions. Whatever. Is what it is. Anyways, you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. Do that shit. Okay. Love you guys. Thanks for being here to enjoy another episode of our Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.